All right, this is Stonehaven, and uh, this is 50 acres out here in Boyle County, and it's a it's really quite a stately farm. It's it's a horse farm, and I'm going to show you inside, show you the entry coming up, and I'll show you inside the barn. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what what this looks like here. Uh, there's a big pond there in the front. I'm going to guess it's uh, just guessing through about three or four acres. It's a lake. Uh, yeah, that's a lake. Yeah, that's a beauty. And then we're coming up to the uh, to the entrance. Here's uh, this is the road. It's tree line road here, kind of typical of the finer horse farms in in the bluegrass. And then here's the. Uh, Here's the entryway. It says Stonehaven on it. That is about as beautiful as it gets right there. Can you imagine what that's going to look like in the in the summer when it's green? So your guests will come up. This. Uh, this winding driveway and then you've got a circular driveway right in front of the house uh, for entry for guests to enter from the uh, front of the house or you can go on the side I believe it's a three-car garage then enters from yeah, the back. It's a little three-car garage. Yeah. There's trawler. Okay, let's go in the house. It's so windy, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this or not. But anyway, there's the horse barn. And then here's the, come up to the three-car garage. And then we'll go in the side. Beautiful, this is, it's real stone. Beautiful. We'll go in the side door here. This is, uh, I guess, a travertine marble. It's like a, almost like a... Um, like a sea foam kind of a pattern. It's absolutely beautiful. Each one is different. It's gorgeous. They're big. Those are big ones. Those are 16 or 18 inch square. So you've got this as a mud room. Access to the garage is right here. So you got three cars plus about six feet or so on this side. Three operators. This goes out to the back porch, which I'll show you later. We'll just go in here. Yeah, laundry and laundry sink. And then the circular staircase goes up to the upstairs. And I'll show you that on the way back. Check out this kitchen. You see the still photographs, but to see it in video kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know enough about this style stone, but it's, it's awful beautiful. Got built ends, big refrigerator with the cabinet door handles, double stainless steel sink here, and then there's one over here, bar sink. So if you're a cook, this is really quite nice. Again, more marble here. Tumbled marble back, 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 backsplash there. Another oven on this side, and uh, and I assume that's a warmer. And dishwasher is over here. Okay. And then what do we have here? Another dishwasher here. This living area is quite nice. Here's another bar sink, ice maker, uh, wine wine refrigerator. Fireplace. Is that a gas fireplace, Bruce? It looks like a gas fireplace. Yeah. And built ins. And then this bay window here. 
transom windows over this. Let's let's go take a look outside while we're here. Okay. All cut stone here for the, the back porch, this patio. And then a pergola out here. This is a trick. Uh, it's it's on an angle and it's straight. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is is that cedar, Bruce? Yeah. It is. Beautiful. And that, I'm not sure whether that's uh, concrete or pebble tack or pea gravel. Pea gravel on top, of, on top of the concrete. And then there's that entryway where you come in from the side. That's that's the garage. That window would be the garage. And then this. This goes out to another porch, and this is off of the uh, the office, which I'll show you right now. There's the scene scenery from back here while you sit on the screened-in porch. Since we're here, we'll just walk right into the um, into the dining room. Archways, all the molding is just spot on. It's beautiful. And then here's the entry. The light's beautiful in there right now, so might as well go take a look at it. This curved staircase. Chandelier, windows way up top. And the library, another gas log fireplace, built ins. Take a look at the uh, the office. We can go this way, or we can go around this way. This is definitely an office befitting a CEO for sure. The floors are absolutely gorgeous throughout. Wide wide board oak, and I believe that to be white oak. Beautiful. The gas log fireplace. Lots of windows. I know if I had an office at home, I'd want to want to have an office that would be half this beautiful. Let's go take a look at the uh, closet space. This little half bath here. Real pretty. All the fixtures that I've seen um, are Kohler, very nice quality. Everything is top quality in this house. This home is top quality house. Look at all these windows here in the master bedroom. Again, overlooking fields. You put your horses out there. You wake up every morning to that. How beautiful is that? This is a large master bedroom. That I believe to be a king bed and it's lost in this room. It's so beautifully large. And this is the master bath. Again, lots of detail work. And water closet with a window. Double vanity, walk-in shower. Beautiful. 
electrical fixtures. And then his and her closets. I know which one I would get. I'd get the smaller one because my wife would want the bigger one. Let's go on upstairs. That's a beautiful shot right there, isn't it? Okay, let's go on upstairs. Up here, you've got lots of bedrooms, lots of space, perfect for entertaining, grandkids, whatever you have, whatever your needs are. There's plenty of space up here. That curved staircase is absolutely a work of art. We'll go down this way first, see what we have here. Linen. Oh, okay. First, first bedroom. Yeah, nice full bath, double vanity. More color. Color, color, color. This this bathroom's all color. His and her closet. Another bedroom. How cute is that? And then, I believe this is a Jack and Jill. This is a Jack and Jill or Hollywood bath, whatever way you like to call it. So it's two double vanities, shares one hopper. Yep, double vanity, hopper, double vanity, and then walk-in shower. Here, just to point out little things, there's a Zern drain. That's the kind you'd find in big commercial applications. Hotels, restaurants, that sort of thing, those are expensive. It just gives you an idea that everything you touch in this house is quality. another bedroom so that's three upstairs so far here's a fourth one this could easily be used as guest rooms or uh, whatever and a, even a granny flat okay so that's four five Five bedrooms up here so far. Another double vanity. Walk-in shower. All color again. Little sitting dressing area. More closets here. And then this area up here, which is like a living room. Again, that, with that granny flat idea in mind. Double closets there. That door goes into that that bedroom we saw, that fourth bedroom. And then if you remember, the circular staircase that goes down to where we started, which was in that in that laundry room. I'm feeling this is a bonus room. Wow. Now this is a bonus room. This goes over the entire laundry room where we came in, which would be right under there. This is all that laundry area, and then this is above the three-car garage. Wow. All right, and even up here, it's got central vac. It's already wired. It looks like, it looks to me like that's cable or internet or TV or something. It's already set up. But it's got central vac up here in the bonus room. And then, no, 
in a furnace room, okay? And what is this? Is this heat pump or all electric? It's geothermal. Geothermal. Yeah. Geothermal heat pump. Uh, yeah, get any... Do, what's that? Highest bill he's had been two hundred some dollars. For s well, he's down here all the time. Right, yeah. but six thousand square feet. Yeah. All right, let's go downstairs. Okay. Now, right off of the office and the living room is, and and the foyer here is this door. We'll go downstairs to the basement. Should have turned the lights on, but I didn't. Let's see what we got here. Wow. Now this is what I need. A gym. I'm gonna change white balance here. Hold on. There you go. That's a little better. Now you got this huge I beam that goes across all the way. Um, poured walls. Of course, I'm a big fan of poured walls. I'm not a big cinder block guy. And seller's got his golf net up for, for, for practice. Of course, if you don't hit that net, you're going to have balls go flying everywhere. Stubbed up for bath, too. Stubbed up for bath here. There's another one of those I beams. And uh, tuba two, two 12s, the floor joists are tuba 12s. None of that. Other stuff that they're selling a lot of today. And I guess this is a crawl and access to under part of the other part, maybe under the kitchen or something. But you've got a really big, it's at a 60, 60 gallon water, water tank or 80 gallon. And then this geothermal water furnace, which is just great. I mean, it's the best you can get. It's pulling out of the ground at 58. The ground's always 58. So you're only heating from 58 to 70. Or cooling from uh, you know from 58 you're not cooling from 110 more uh, then here's the alarm it's all set there and then this is a little space here which would be great to put records or or a little wine cellar or something and here that's I'm assuming underneath the, the front porch and then there's a Door here, Bruce. What is this? Oh, it's, this goes outside. Okay, all right. I don't need to open that. Let's take a look. I, I don't know if we need to open that. You can if you want to. It's all Square D. I'm a big Square D fan. It's not home line. This is real, the commercial Square D. And you've got 200 amp service there. 200 amp service there. Plenty of room to expand if you need. And then this is a door and this goes out. Okay. Now, floor drain there, which is absolutely fantastic. Of course, you got all the stone here. And railing, and railing. And this, to me, right here, is looks like stubbed up for gas, for gas lines. So you could have, uh, you could have your grill out here if you wanted. This transfer switch. Um, I'm assuming that's, that's got to do with a generator. You have to check with Bruce on that. Then stone all the way up. I just wanted to show you the back here, which is the porch off of the office. This is the master bedroom with this glorious window set here. And then that's off of the uh, off the office. And then off of the living room. Screened in. That's screened in. This is not. And then the pergola. Now, no one asked me, but this would be a very likely area for English herb garden, swimming pool. It would be absolutely beautiful, and there's plenty of room. This, from, from this distance over here to that fence, and of course the fence isn't a boundary. That's just the fence that's already there. Uh, that's easy uh, 80 feet. Uh, so there's plenty of room, maybe, maybe even a little more, I'd say at least 80 feet. And there's your electrical transformer sitting out there. And this is what you look at. We'll walk around. These are, uh, I think these are called paper 
paper birch or paper white birch. Beautiful. Another tree. And here's that side. This to me, it just screams having a glass of wine. Sitting out here and having a glass of wine with your uh, with your favorite person. Which might be you. <laughs> I sure enjoy having a glass of wine with my wife. And that is Stonehaven. Give us a call. You can of course see it on our website. Again, this is pretty windy, but this is how your guests would come in. You come in there with the stone gate, which is behind that tree, and you pass the pond. And, and up here, and then Circle Drive, and up this stone walk to the entry this way. Little porch over here. And oh, I want to show you this. This little patio here on the side, which is right off of the um, the den, the library, the meeting room. Come right off there, and onto this. Uh, this concrete patio here, this stone wall. Just beautiful. Sorry if this is noisy. It's a little breezy up here. It's springtime. And we can enter the house this way, which you've got the chandelier. You got lights, uh, windows up there, the chandelier, curving staircase. Yes, quite impressive. And that is Stonehaven. You can see more of the, the uh, photographs at KentuckyLandSales.com. KYLandSales.com for lots of uh, still photographs and lots of information on this property. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm going to show you the, uh, the barn. Again, it's pretty windy, but we're going to we're going to tough it out. Okay. And of course, you got the name right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then you've got plenty of room here to do whatever you want: paddocks, corrals, anything like that. Got a hydrant here in this barn. Do you know how big the barn is, Bruce? It's 40 by, 40 by 70. Uh, this big 40 by 70. And you got a big porch here. Everything's done right. Again, look at this all tin on the ceiling so you don't have any birds hanging out there. Big concrete pad. And uh, everything's just built super high quality. Nice trusses. It's a raised cord truss. And I'm going to guess it's 10 foot on the outside, 13 or so in the middle, something like that. At least. Yeah, pretty close. So you got plenty of room for your lawnmowers, shop, some tractor, and this pickup truck. One of those buggies, that wagons that, that dump. Big bush hog, and look at this electric box. So you're wired for, for anything here. Plenty of room. And overhead doors with operators on both ends. So you can just bring your remote on the tractor with you. Hit the button, come on in. And there you go. Well, this is inside the barn.